Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share a topic which is very important during this COVID-19 pandemic situation. It is face mask. No matter where on the globe we live, we need to wear one of those to give us protection when we go in public. In the beginning, we didn't go out a lot, but since it's been few months, many of us have to go out on a daily basis so we need multiple of the face masks in our hand and having a no fog on eyeglasses is a nice to have kind of mask on our list today i'm gonna show you step by step how easily you can make one of these masks at home please stay till end of this video and also please subscribe my channel we will need two square shaped fabric pieces to make this mask. I'm showing here measurements for three different sizes, small, medium, and large. So small ones would be particularly for kids and medium and large um, can be used uh, by um, anyone depending on their, um, you know, need. I took two pieces of the same fabric to make this mask. You can use a solid color fabric uh, of white or black hair or like based on your color scheme of the fabrics uh, to uh, make a, a liner. But like I said, I'm using same fabric for both the top part and the liner because this is a 100% cotton fabric very comfortable, soft and breathable. So it should be just great to use uh, for both sides. So you can use any plates or bowls uh, with proper measurement uh, to cut out from your fabric to make this mask. So like usually we have different sizes of plates or bowls in our kitchen so that would be the easiest way to cut out from the fabric um, so this bowl is 9 by 9 inch or 9 inch diameter actually so I'm gonna just put it upside down and cut off the fabric um, into a circular or round piece I'm placing the bowl on top of the fabric, square shaped fabric that I got and just making a mark all around the edge of the bowl so that I can cut out around the mark. As you can see here, this round mark. I'll just cut out the fabric from here to make a round piece. In case you don't have a bowl or plate that you can use to cut out from the fabric, you can take a piece of paper, uh, any paper. This is a wrapping paper I took um, as the same size of the fabric. And then we can um, uh, make it use as a template to make the mask. So now I'm going to show you how we can do it. So fold it in half. This is actually very simple. So we did fold it in half and then let's make another fold. Still a square piece and now let's fold it again diagonally. So here it is, here is the piece of paper, now what we are going to do is just place the tape measure over here and we are going to mark it over here and we're gonna just slip the 
tape measure around so here you mark at the same place on the fabric like four and a half inch and then you keep slipping it and then put a mark on the fabric keep doing it um, till the end so you can see these marks here you can just draw a line here now we're gonna cut out this piece um, to make a round template for our mask so let's cut it off along the mark like this all right let's see how it looks it's just a round shape this is good enough for making the mask and actually you can use this process to cut out um, any sizes of mask you would need like small medium or large so we can simply use this to cut the fabric you can keep this as your template um, because we are going to need to make uh, many masks um, as you go along. So I'm cutting along the edges of the template to give the fabric a circular shape. So similarly, I'll cut the other piece by putting the temple on the fabric. So here are the two round pieces of fabric we will need to make our mask. Now along this midline, we are going to put two marks on both ends from there we are gonna measure one and a half inch on both sides so this is one and a half inch and then from the midpoint this is another one and a half inch so from here one and a half inch this way and one and a half inch this way we're gonna do the similar thing on this end actually these marks from the middle point to that one and a half inch are gonna be the points for the elastics to go through okay let's fold this fabric along the midline here this way so we had our marks over here here and here and we just folded it from the other midline now we are gonna measure one and a half inch from the edge towards inside here and then from the perimeter we are gonna measure about an inch so this is an inch and from here to here one and a half inch so 
so now we can mark this two line and we need to cut this piece out okay so this is how the pieces look like so we saw the whole thing this area is gonna go underneath the chin to make it a better fit for this area measurement from this midpoint to this point and from here to here is equal and it's given on here for small medium and large mask we will need two pieces of elastic for each mask this is the wrong side of fabric it's one piece here and i'm gonna sew these elastics like this on both sides this point and bring it over here and i'm gonna sew them i stitched the elastic on both the points um, from one and a half inch from the midpoint here and also on this side and now i'm going to stitch from here to here from here to here on this piece and also from here to here on this piece I stitched this area over here and also this area can see here and here it is so these are the two pieces for the mask now we are gonna attach these two pieces together keeping the elastics inside so we are going to do it this way and um, we are going to start from here the opposite side of this area we will just stitch all the way up to here so you are going to keep a little gap here um, so that we can turn the fabric uh, inside out you can use a needle and a string um, to stitch or you can use a sewing machine whichever is comfortable for you I have a sewing machine but for this mask um, it can be as simple as just using the needle and thread so let's sew these two parts together We are almost done stitching the two pieces together. Here we go. So we stitched from here, from here to all the way up to here and we kept this little opening here so that we can turn the inside out now let's turn it out to see 
this is the look after we attached the two pieces together and uh, now we turn the uh, inside out and now we are gonna stitch this area so this is how it looks so far this is the back side of the mask and this little area you see where we put the stitch is gonna go on the chin area and this is the top end of the mask so now we are gonna simply fold it up to the elastic point here and here and we will mark from this point along this line up to this point we are, we are going to find a midpoint of this which is here and then from this point to that point here that two points where elastics go in we are going to mark approximately the midpoint here this is the approximate midpoint similarly on the other side between this and that midpoint is here so if we want we can mark from here to here and then from this point to that point and then stitch this way so I'm almost done stitching this skirt and just secure the end and then I'm going to cut the thread off so I stitched from the midpoint between the elastic to all the way the middle of this mask and from there all the way to the midpoint of this elastic and this is how it looks so this portion this portion is gonna go on top of the nose and the way it's gonna stay there will um, prevent fog being um, created inside the eyeglasses or sunglasses and this side is gonna go on the chin so here I am with the no fog mask on this area snuggles the nose so when I breathe out it doesn't go towards my eyes to fog my eyeglasses or sunglasses and it's pretty comfortable to breathe in it If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon to get notifications. I will come back with few other very simple to make mask tutorials for you all. So please stay tuned and thank you so much for watching my video.